Hi everybody, this is Techno Freak here. I thought I'd start sharing some videos because it's easy for me to record my laptop and show you what I all do with Linux. And I've been working with Linux for a, quite a few years and I have never liked the way Unity is. So I've compiled a way to get rid of it without having a major upset issue with your system. First thing you want to do is install another desktop so that you can remove Unity. In my next couple of videos I'll show you the different desktops that you can install and their functionalities with each one and what the uses are for the different desktops. A lot of people that have tried Linux don't understand that each different desktop has a great purpose for it. Um, right here we're going to start out by installing Genome Session Fallback. It's not a, it's not what I would like. I'd like to be back on regular Genome 2, but there's no real way to get it back per se unless you go into some of these other desktops that I'll show you later. Um, and how we do that is all we do is go sudo space app dash get space install genome dash session dash fallback. And what this will do is put the classic desktop into your system. And you'll see it's a pretty basic system. It installs pretty fast. And now the, the fallback session is installed. Now I gotta stop recording here. But before I I'll, I'll, I'll cut back out of the video here and I'll log out and then I'll log back in into um classic genome. That will allow me then to complete re get rid of Unity. I can erase it out of the Ubuntu system and be left with just the fallback session. And once that's done, then from there, in my next following videos, I'll show you how to install Cinnamon Mate or Cinnamon Mate and XFCE. So, give me a second here, and we'll stop the rec. Okay, now that we're back after we logged out and selected Genome Classic, we're now in the Classic Genome Desktop. Now from here, we will start to remove Unity and all of Unity parts. Um, I have two different options if you look down here at the bottom of my screen. You can see option one is one version where it's an... It should be auto remove. It should be auto remove. And then option two is a complete wipeout. I don't use that one, um, but if some of you want to do, you can. The reason I don't use it is you get rid of your calendar and clock set up here with your mail and a few other options um, and that are part of Unity 2D that are part of the Ubuntu system. I just do a real basic straightforward clean wiping system where it takes out the majority of unity but doesn't remove certain things that I like actually let me put that back as remove if I remember right the auto part takes out more than I like that's why I didn't do the... Uh, some people do the auto-remove. I didn't because auto-removes 
takes out more than I like. So all we have to type in to get the process started is sudo app-get remove unity space unity 2d. And what this will do is start the process. doesn't take real long to get this done as you can see there now once that's been done I have two other three other parts that I run after either one of the first option one or two now what this will do is the sudo app dash get auto remove um, cleans up a lot of the leftover crap from removing the main core files. See we got 17 which will 17 items to remove and 10.5 megabytes of space will be freed up. And you can see the Unity shell, spreadsheet, more common files. It's just going through and cleaning up a bunch of the garbage. Now this next part, we're going to try to find out if there's any orphan packages left over. Um, when you're removing some items, core files and such, you get leftover packages that just sometimes don't get taken out. Uh, there are some Linux sweeper programs which do take care of this for you but I'm a command line person so I like to run it in run it in terminal um, I do a lot of terminal work a lot of people think oh Linux is all terminal no it's not but it okay see my last auto remove I always check this usually it comes up empty but sometimes it doesn't now the last one we got to run is all get rid of all of uh, Unity's configuration files. We've got to purge them out of the system. I found this code for purging on a guy who did a complete removal and started over from scratch from a standard Ubuntu and the reason I like to use uh, the Ubuntu base system is I've tried some of their other off-breed distros and I've had a lot of problems because my laptop here is a 64-bit Athlon X2 and I've tried XUbuntu and KUbuntu and all of them, and they don't like to install on my 64-bit laptop. They'll install fine on some of my other netbooks, but they just don't seem to want to install on my 64-bit, unless I run a 32-bit. And I'm not a 32-bit person for my big laptop because... Uh, true 64-bit and Ubuntu really works smooth. So now when you log out and log back in, um, right below your password, after you type it, you got your box there where you can select your different options of which desktop you want. This is, you'll see that Unity will be gone. You'll still have a Unity 2D left on my first version. Um, but that's only because I like to keep my clock and a few other parts. And there, there's just a few minor files that are left in there. And with this option, it keeps a lot of those. So my next video I'll be doing is showing you how the Mate desktop. Uh, so look forward to my next video on my Mate desktop installation. It's pretty straightforward and simple, and that'll give you the option when you go to log in to run the Mate desktop. And in my next one after that, I'll show Cinnamon 
and each one of those I'll talk about the advantages and, and usages. Now, one other thing I want to show you, if I can remember where it is. Uh, see, I'm recording right now, and when I'm talking, you can see my usage, my CPU 2, 50, 80, 100%, CPU 1, memory usage is 14%, and I'm recording this, and I'm recording and running terminal and everything else, not bad for the Genome Classic. I'll show you a readout on these when I get into the other desktops. The other desktops are more hungry besides the XFC E4 desktop. In that one you'll see the difference on the on the consumption of resources and how much less it really is. So I look forward to you seeing my seeing you in my next video. Hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. As always I'll be releasing more videos as time goes on all about just Linux. Um, Please leave a comment and let me know what you think. And if there's something you want to see, leave me a comment. I'll try to get back to as many comments.